everyone, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Zenpop stationery pack for March. So Zenpop sent this one to me to review for you guys and they've also given me an affiliate link and discount code. So you can use the code MAVU ZENPOP to get 700 yen off your order, which is approximately 5 or 6 US dollars. If you guys want to check them out, I'll leave all the information about that in the description box. So this stationery pack is for March and it's currently available to purchase. And this month's theme is Playful Pixels. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, got it open. So we have a cute little postcard on the top here. Let's have a look at this. And it looks like this one is kind of themed like Kiki's Delivery Service. And we have some cute like pixel art in the background. And then on the back here, it says greetings from Osaka. So it says, we hope you've had an enjoyable holiday season and spent a lovely time with your friends and family. In Osaka, winter has now fully settled and chilly winds are blowing through the city streets. How are you spending the winter months? Any plans to go skiing or would you rather escape to a sunny beach? We just spent an amazing weekend in Mie Prefecture, not too far from Osaka. We enjoyed staying warm at a Japanese onsen, natural hot spring, and ate traditional washoku, a Japanese course meal. For you, we've created another wonderful selection of ramen, snacks, and stationery. We hope that you enjoy the box you've received while we prepare many more surprises for the next month. And they have a cute little illustration of everyone on the Zenpop team. That is adorable. And I really like the illustration on the front here. I think I might save this one for a journal page. Let's open up this pack and see what's inside. So you can see a few different items. Let's have a look at this one first. So these are dot pens and it looks like they're made by Bandai Namco, which is actually like a gaming company. And then Sunstar, which I think is a stationary company. So maybe it's a collab between the two. And it looks like you can use these to make like dot or like pixel art, which is pretty cool. So we have four different colors in this set. We have like a dark blue, a mint color, a green and a yellow. On one end, there's like the dot marker. And then on the other end, there's a pen. So that is pretty cool. Let's try these ones out. Let's open up this pack of pens, take these out. They say dot pen on the side there. And this one is the blue one. So we have the square side there and then the little fine tip pen. So let's test this one out. This is the square side. That is the square side. And then we also have a fine tip pen here. Let's test this one. Which looks like that. So that is the blue pen. Let's test the green one next. There's the block side. And then here is the fine tip pen. So this color was called mint, but this one's more like a bright green. And let's try out the fine tip pen side. So this one is quite bright. It's kind of like a highlighter green color. And for the last one, let's test out this yellow one. It looks like this one is also a yellow highlighter color. This one's also really bright. And then here is the fine tip pen side. So these ones would actually be quite useful for like highlighting notes as well because it's like a square shape. So you could highlight like that as well. Let's grab the next item. So this next one, it looks like this is a little eraser and it kind of looks like it's like a Lego block, which is pretty cool. Let's open this one up. In Japan, like themed erasers are actually really popular and you'll find like a lot of like um, food themed ones and lots of different designs. It looks like you can actually like remove the parts and use it. And this one's made by Iwako. And there's the back. So we have this cute little giraffe. And oh, the pieces do all come apart. So you could take it apart and like build something else if you wanted to. I think this would be a nice little desk ornament as well. Let's put that one over there. And let's grab this next item. So this next one, it looks like these are little mini envelopes or something. And oh, I know, I think these are little sticky notes. So you can use them to look like little envelopes on like presents and stuff like that. Let's open these up. And these ones are made by Ilma. And let's take these out. 
So yeah, these are Ilma sticky memos and there's 40 sheets in this one. So you have this red design and here are all the memo sheets. Let's peel one off. So I'll peel off that one because I picked up two. So here is the little envelope that will be fun to use on little gifts as it looks like it's a little card and you can also write on them as well. So let's put these ones over here. This next item is a sketchbook and this one is made by Cochlear which is a pretty popular stationery brand. And let's open this one up. So it looks like this one is a grid paper notebook and I think in the description of the items for this month this one will go quite well with the dot pens as you can use like the little squares to mark out the pixel art. I've never tried to do any pixel art before but I might have to try it. It might be a little bit easier with the grid paper here as well. This next one looks like it's a tape. It looks like this one's like a little shopping kind of street. So we have like a pharmacy, arts and crafts and a cafe. This would be quite cute to make a journal page with to make like if you went out shopping in the city or something like that. So this one is 30 millimeters by five meters. Let's open up this tape so we can peel the top off here. Put that one over there. And then I think there's a little bit of a tear tab bit here. There we go. And let's find the start of this tape. So it starts here. And this one is transparent at the top. So we have cafe, arts and crafts, pharmacy. The next one says bagels, I think. We also have souvenirs and then a little dog. And then a library and like a bike. And then cafe and bar. Next one is a barber and then like a little house with some flowers and then a grocery shops with a little cat in the window then we have a restaurant and then it starts at cafe again so the tape is actually transparent in the window so you could draw some like pictures and then overlay the tape over the top and like have people sitting in like the cafe or the library which i think would be a pretty cool idea grab this next item it looks like this is a letter set and we have this purple theme set that has like some melon soda there that looks really cool and like cinema and like trains it kind of looks like a holiday kind of theme so here's the letter paper there's some really pretty illustrations along the side here i really like the melon soda ones here and then here are the envelopes these ones are in purple and they have some of the illustrations on the side and then here's the back, it has room for like an address, and it opens up like that. So this set comes with five envelopes and ten sheets of letter paper. Let's grab this next item. Looks like this is a sheet of stickers, and it looks like this one is from the same series as the letter set here. But this one's like an orange theme, and I actually really love these illustrations. Let's take these ones out of the packaging. Here are the stickers. These ones are like pastel, kind of orange and blue and green. So we have some flowers here and let's see what the material's like. So it's not like a washi tape, it's more like a regular sticker. So here are the designs. These ones kind of remind me of like a summer kind of theme, which I really like, um, as it is summer here in Australia at the moment. Put these back in the packaging. And let's grab the next item. So this last one is a sheet of stickers as well. These ones are also made by Cameo and they're kind of like a pixel art of different sea animals. So here are all the sea creatures. I really love the art style that's kind of like pixel art. You have this really long one here which is actually in Animal Crossing as well. It's like this huge fish. Then we have some like dolphins and different fish. We also have the sunfish here. We might have to make an Animal Crossing page because this one is also in Animal Crossing. And I remember when I first started playing, it was one of the first things I caught. And when you pull it out of your pockets to like show it off in game, it's a super huge fish and it's quite funny to see as it's bigger than your character. And then we have some more fish here, some clownfish and then some sharks. And then we have these little jellyfish down the bottom as well. And these stickers also have like this silver kind of outline that kind of shines in the light as well. So I missed this one when I first opened the box, but this one is a Pentel pencil and I think it's like a crayon as well. 
So let's open this one up. So this one is made by Pantel, which is a pen brand that I really like. And I think this one is a cross between a pencil and a crayon. So let's test it out. So let's try drawing with this one. So this color is quite like a light blue. And the pencil part is quite soft and easy to write with. So that was everything that was in the March Senpop stationery pack. My favourite item from this month is the letter set as I love the purple colours and I love the illustration style as well. Let me know in the comments which item was your favourite and if you guys want to check out Zenpop I'll leave all the information about my affiliate link and discount code in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!